Let's talk frizz. Every curly haired woman's got it and a lot of straight haired women have it as well, especially this time of year. The problem is, is that nobody really understands where it comes from, how you get it, and thus you can't really deal with it. So today I happen to be at, uh, at our lab and I've been having a conversation with Peter and Peter's the person who's in charge of our uh, chemists here that do our formulating and uh, we happen to be talking about frizz. So I thought we'd turn the camera on and, uh, and you get some professional back on the science behind frizz because if you don't know the science behind it you really can't stop it you really can't prevent it and you really can't do anything about it other than deal with it like most people have been so so I'm gonna turn this around and uh, we'll have Peter explain it so Peter good morning tell us uh, tell us about frizz give us give us the inside scoop about frizz about why where it comes from and why people have it and uh, uh, give us the ins and outs about it well, first, you're right. Pretty much every woman in the world has frizz. Um, frizz is basically damage that's occurred to the hair. And damage comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes. It comes in curly hair, it comes in straight hair, it comes in long hair, it comes in short hair. Mm -hmm. uh, a lady that's colored her hair has damaged her hair. A lady that's straightened her hair, curled her hair, permed her hair, uh, gone swimming in a swimming pool. Chemically, chemically straightened their hair. Exactly. All those sure. things damage the hair. And anywhere there's damage to the hair, the cuticle stands up. Um, and that's the genesis of almost all of the problems when it comes to hair and it not behaving the way you want it to. Um, hair is really supposed to look kind of like snakeskin, a series of overlapping platelets that sit very smoothly on each other and are very smooth. So if you have healthy hair, your hair feels very smooth and very soft and very sleek. But unfortunately, these little platelets tend to stand up and when they stand up your hair starts to feel rough now they're tiny um, but you can still feel them and they once you get enough of them standing up they create what I like to think of as hair velcro and your hair will start to get stuck on each other now most of the hair sits flat and sits the way you want it to but the outer layer gets stuck and it gets velcroed to each other and every lady has what I like to call the hair halo. Yeah, the curly girls call it the halo frizz. Exactly. Yeah. It's yep. the halo. And you can look at your friends, you can look in a mirror, and I pretty much guarantee you have it um, because you just do. It's just there's damage throughout the entire length of the hair shaft. Uh, a couple of years ago, we invented a technology that literally targets and fixes these damaged spots on the hair. Now, I can go into a lot of chemistry uh, to explain how it works, but basically, Wherever your hair is exposed to the atmosphere, there's a chemical reaction that creates a charge. And we've developed our technology to have the opposite charge. So just like a magnet, our technology goes right to those damaged sites and it ignores the healthy part of your hair where it's not damaged. So you don't get buildup, very important thing. A lot of products will create buildup on your hair and that's not a good thing. No, no, and which is a great thing with this product that we've created is that it doesn't have any silicone in it either, so it doesn't create any of that buildup at all on the shaft. Exactly, and silicone from our perspective is a great product in a lot of applications, but on hair, it will add shine, but it also tends to attract dirt. And out of the air, it's almost like a magnet that comes to your hair, and that's never a good yeah, thing. Yeah, nobody wants it in the curly world, nobody. <laughs> nope, mm -mm, nope. So our product, now imagine you have a split end. Your hair is supposed to be like this, but you have a split end. Um, our little technology gets in there. Um, we've made what is essentially is a micro capsule. It's about one one hundredth the size of your hair shaft. So there are literally millions of them in every one of the bottles of hairspray, shampoo, and conditioner um, that we're talking about. Now they'll get in there by the thousands. And as your hair dries, they will literally bring your hair back together and it'll seal it up. So it actually almost like heals the hair so so it eliminates that, that gap that gives you the frizz, is that correct? Exactly, so your split end fixes, your platelets sit down, everything becomes softer, smoother, shinier. It's much easier to comb your hair because a lot of the detangling issues are because of the hair Velcro getting stuck on each other. Because our product gets rid of the Velcro, it becomes a much easier um, detangling a much easier way to comb your hair. What we recommend is as you step out of your shower, towel dry your hair, spray your product in. 
Every lady's gonna use a different amount. You're gonna use more than your best friend, she's gonna use more than her best friend. Yeah. It's just the way it works. Curly You're girls gonna... are gonna use a lot of it. Exactly. And, and then rake through it with their hands. Right? Exactly. Yep. And, and you'll know when you hit the right amount. It might take a little bit of trying, but you'll get to the right amount and your hair will be softer, smoother, sleeker. So again, back to it. Come out of the shower, towel dry your hair, spray it on. Take your comb, take your brush, brush it through. Or if you're a curly girl, use your fingers, use your fingers. to break those encapsulations, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then do whatever you normally do. If you're a blow dryer, blow dry your hair. If you use a hot iron, hot iron your hair. If you let it dry naturally, let it dry naturally. And as it's drying, it will start to release the technology that allows it all to repair. And after a few applications, you are going to love it. Um, oh, I'd be very surprised if you don't, because in our test panels, it was rather remarkable, the response we got. Yeah, we've, we've used it on thousands of, uh, thousands of women, and it's worked well, really, really well on the, on the, on the curly girls especially. Mm -hmm. Even the ones using the hooded dryers with the very low heat um, seems to work well. Uh, we've also found that even without heat, it, uh, it works really great in, um, in like second day and third day curl applications as well. Which is actually really well. a, a fascinating uh, thing that came out of our panel tests. The ladies that were involved in it for several months at, um, in came back to us and reported they were able to grow their hair longer, which surprised us. Um, and they said, well, basically it's because we weren't cutting off our split ends. But the next sure. most shocking result for me was and honestly, I never even thought about this as being a concern. They said they got to get an extra day between their shampoos. Yeah. So all of the, and I, I was stunned, and I said, why is that important to you? And he said, it's basically because we spend so much money on perming our hair or curling our hair or coloring our hair. If we wash it too often, we wash that out quicker. So sure. by spraying it on every morning when we're doing our, our normal um, process to sure. get up in the morning, sure. uh, onto, spraying it on our dry hair, we get an extra day or two between washes, which extends the life of the treatments that we've done to our hair. Yeah, and the other thing we've seen with the with the curly haired women is the um, because it brings that that hair shaft back together. Um, the products a lot of times they'll use gels and mousses and and what we call fills, and basically they're 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 filling those areas, but those areas don't exist anymore when you mm -hmm. when you use this patented technology that we. Uh, that we have. So tell us some. Um, tell us. Give us a quick uh, explanation of negatively and char uh, positively charged uh, ions. This is this is one of the the uh, the issues that we hear about all the time. Um, that I've I've tried to explain, uh, but I think you can probably do a better job of it. Of um, there's lots of women who will spend a lot of money on two, three, four dollar bottles of shampoos and conditioners and their frizz never gets better and it gets worse mm -hmm. and worse and worse. And that has a lot to do with the science of negatively and positively charged ions. Can you explain that to us, Peter? Healthy hair has a neutral charge. Unhealthy hair has spots that have a negative charge. Anywhere those platelets are exposed to the air or your split end is exposed to the air, there's a chemical reaction that occurs it causes a negative charge. Uh, your traditional conditioners, in fact, I would say 99.9% .9 of all conditioners in the world use what's called a quat to condition your hair. Very effective material, very good on healthy hair, makes it softer, makes it smoother, but in order to adhere to the neutral part of your hair, it has to have a very, very strong positive charge. Um, that positive charge allows it to deposit onto your hair, makes it softer, makes it smoother. And, and don't get me wrong, we are all for traditional co conditioning agents because they are necessary for the healthy part of your hair. But the downside is wherever there's the split end or the, the, um, the issue, the damage, remember there's a negative charge. And what do we remember from science class in high school? Positive yeah. and negative attract. That's right. So that's why magnets work. But unfortunately, when you have a super powerful positive quat in a conditioner that gets into one of those spots, it actually, instead of bringing it back together, it's so powerful, it actually it makes it worse from our studies. So the frizz actually gets worse. It, from what we've seen, it definitely gets worse. So that's why these women are seeing this problem where, where they're buying a lot of these cheaper drugstore brands and complaining after a short period of time that the frizz gets worse and they can't get rid of it no matter what they do, no matter what they add to their hair because 
you can't you can't overcome the science of what's pushing the hair apart. Correct? Exactly. Is that right? Exactly. And from our experience, the cheaper, if you will, conditioners use cheaper quats, yeah. which are the really powerfully charged quats. Yeah. So somebody with damage in their hair using a cheap conditioner is very likely causing, at best, they're not improving anything. And at worst, they're causing more damage. At worst. No kidding. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. so it's, it's quite shocking, no pun intended. Right. Um, we, were right. Do, <laughs> we were doing a study to compare our product versus the best-selling conditioners on the market. In every single case, we saw our product fix the split end, and we saw the products on the market not fix and more often than not make it worse. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I think that I think that pretty much uh, pretty much answers us. So if you uh, if if you want to, or if you have any more questions, post them below. Uh, if not, click the link below if you want to know more about uh, about this new patented technology uh, for uh, anti frizz and how we use it in our conditioners as well. You can take a look and check out rawhairorganics.com, and uh, we'll see you soon.